In this course, we're going to talk about distillation. Distillation is just one separation process, and there are many, many others. And we can't take them all in this course. We have only place for one, so we will talk about distillation. But before we go into that, let's think a bit about why do we study separation processes, and why are they so important? Well, in any kind of process, be it that you might want to produce some food, or a mobile phone, or, or whatever, you need separation processes, both because the raw materials are usually not pure to start with. If you make food, for example, you might have a fish and you want to take away the fins or the bones to create your food because you can't digest the, the fins and the, and the bones and so on. So we need separation processes to purify our raw material but that's not enough, because let's take a chemical factory, for example, when you need something to react with an, something else. Uh, all reactants might not react at first. So then after the reactor, you can separate the unreacted reactants and lead them back to the reactor again, so that you don't lose any of the unreacted reactants. And you might have both products and byproducts, and you need to separate them from each other. And then from the process, you might have liquid or gas or both coming out. And the liquid you need to purify and the gas you need to purify. So you need all kinds of different separation processes. Some of the separation processes that exist, you have been using in your everyday life. And some of them you typically haven't. Now, before we go into distillation, that is just one separation process, take a minute and think through what kind of separation processes do you know? And how do they work? What kind of physical and or chemical characteristics do they depend on? Uh, I would recommend you to do that this together with someone, uh, like a study friend or something. Um, but if you don't find anyone, then try to do it yourself and think this through. Once you've done that, you can compare your list with the first chapter in this compendium, which has an overview of some different separation technologies. But you can also go to the web. For example, uh, Wikipedia has a nice overview of different separation processes. You, there you might be, uh, need to go to the different links to actually see how they work, these different separation technologies. So try this out and then we will talk more about distillation.